This is Habibi, Mark's new dog, as of like three weeks now, I think. Well, we are at Walmart and we are picking up a desk. This one was only, how much? I think 44. Like $44. Welcome back to the channel. And it has been a long time since I did a vlog. And I'm starting this video where we will end up. And that is walking on a trail. <laughs> but I didn't have an intro for this, but there was a lot that has happened since I started filming footage for this video. So I will take you to that now. It is finally happening. The outside is getting pressure washed in preparation to be painted. And so I just cleared everything out of here with the help of the, the people that are doing the painting to get everything out of the back porch. These are the colors here for the floor. So I decided to go with this neutral balance tan because it's very similar to the flooring inside here. So I think it'll be a natural sort of, you know, it'll be a little bit brighter out there too. Oh, he already removed the uh, chairs out here. So it is now a few days later and the paint job on the outside of the house looks amazing. When I actually get back to town, back to Ocala, Florida, I will show you how that looks because I'm very, very happy with the way that it turned out. But right now I'm actually in Illinois with Barb. You might remember her <laughs> from my main reselling, I, you know, from my vintage channel. I know a lot of you found me through this vlog channel actually and don't know much about my reselling that I do, but she used to be a big part of the other channel and I'm back in Illinois for just a few days. Well, Barb and I got a window seat, so uh, I am looking at the chicken bacon wrap for only $8. Oh my gosh. Here is my wrap. Oh, and here's my potato, sa or potato salad. Mm -hmm. Right. That looks like a pile of fun. It is, I that's guess. The, that's the small one, too. You got right. the pony version. That still looks massive. Wow, Barb. Well, it is a couple days later, and Barb and I are out shopping. It's actually my last... It's my last day here. Yeah. In Illinois. For good. Forever. No. no. <laughs> Eventually I'll come back. But we're just out shopping today. And this is a really fun park. It's this. It's, we're here in Highland, Illinois. And they have this nice Christmas set up. Uh, unfortunately, because it's the daytime, there's no lights to be seen. Yeah. But we're going to head on into this little uh, store here. I'd like to get some hot chocolate while we're out. But you can see how they have like you know, all the Christmas stuff out there. These are all the little buildings wow. that I've been looking at since I was little. Oh really? They bring them back Santa, every year? There's a Santa house over there. And so we will, we always come to see Santa and then look at these little things. And yeah, they're, they're like, oh. they're lit up at night and they're like motionettes, you know, they move. So that one over there is like a library. What's going on here? Oh, there's a parade tonight. The Santa parade. Oh. Yep. That's neat. Well, if we're we going to be... have to be selling stuff, we could go to the Santa parade. I know. I'll be selling <laughs> vintage wares on my on my vintage channel but yeah they have this all done up this is cute yeah and then there's like even a fountain uh with that, that lights up there too it's neat Isn't it? and it's got the oh. this is like a little uh what's Shiny. that name brad brad something brad um, yeah it is it's like bradford or something really yeah i didn't know now, that what is this one? it's like a cookie jar of some sort but i, I don't, know i was I don't trying know. to figure out if it was like japan or if it's newer maybe taiwan yeah, maybe. Because some of this is giving me like newer vibes with the way they did the, okay. the painting here. Yeah, I think you're right. Hmm. I like that though. That's $38.95 for, and I mean, it's got a shiny button that, on there. That's great. I like I all that. these like little, these are fun. This looks so good. Look, it's called a marshmallow bar and it includes marshmallows and confectionery coating, which I guess is chocolate. Another word for chocolate. Maybe not, but it looks so good, doesn't it, Barb? It does. Hey, oh, look, boy. look what they've got just for you. A they Christmas knew you were coming. Christmas flamingo. <laughs> this is so neat. It's $400, but it's vintage, and it's like old wood with the with the print on there. That's amazing, I've Barb. I've been wanting it for oh a my couple gosh. years, and they finally have it for sale, but it's not going to happen. That's only your price range. <laughs> this is so cute. I would get it, but... It's like only nine dollars. It's an old cast iron. I thought it was Santa Claus at first, doing that something. Been good. But I, but from what I look up online, it's Betsy Ross. Not make, quite as good. Making her flag. It's sixty-eight dollars. Oh, this mm -hmm. is so cool. I know. That is neat. I like the little finger hole things. Mm -hmm. So I am trying something that maybe I'll fail at, maybe not. But I don't know. I'll see if it works. So I went ahead and pulled this light down and there is the new one there. There's actually another piece that sets in it so you'll see it when it's all complete. 
but I've got the wires exposed. There's no power running to this, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to hook this up. So here's the new light, and then this is the new bracket right here. I've got a couple wire nuts, and I mean, basically I just gotta screw them together. I got the needle nose pliers to do that. So I finally got it up. It took me too long, really. <laughs> But I still need to put like another hook up top there and then bring the chain over. I have the chain doubled up so that it's higher. That's about where the height is it's going to be. But it should come over and like it should have like a swoop so that it's more over this table. I will kick the table over a little bit, but it's just not quite in the right spot. It should be kind of where the ceiling has this dent. I have a little hole there where it should go. So yeah, it'll just be like a little hook and swag over and then hang. So that's the idea. Okay, so I am now using a new camera. So hopefully the quality is better, but Mark and I just got done painting this wall, which I have to say made a huge improvement, though there's only the first coat. And um, we're just taking a break now. But yeah, do you like it? Yeah, I like it. So there's my view. Still, there's one more coat because everything, that's why everything's out off, off the wall. But it makes everything just so much more bright in here. And you know, there's enough color because these couches, there's the blue couch and the gold couch, which add a nice bit of punch to this room. And then also the flamingos can stand out even more being the only pink thing, which is kind of nice. So it already looks markedly better. Other big improvement is this light. So we both put this up, was it last night, I guess? Mm -hmm and it's amazing you would not believe how much this cost i told you how much it was so you know thirty dollars mm -hmm. wait why is that bulb not working oh no, oh, no. We have to change the you have to call the electrician <laughs> that's me <laughs> okay all right let me see maybe the bulb is just a little loose okay it was just the bulb so i fixed that and we are good now. But that was $30 on Amazon. If you would like it, I will we'll link it up in my affiliate links uh, because really it's a great price. Now you do have to put it together, just screw some things together. But for $30, my goodness. The cool thing about this light is that you can either put it on the ceiling or you could put it uh, on the side of the wall and just line up all those posts like vertically up and down. You can move them all different ways, but it says that you can sort of arrange them how you want, twist them and everything. But I think it would look really cool if they were all like lined up vertically going one direction, like as a sconce on the wall. So yeah, it's kind of modular in that way. Oh, Habibi, have you been on the vlog yet? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I think this is your first time. This is Habibi, Mark's new dog, as of like three weeks now, I think. Mm. Yeah. Almost a week. A month. Almost a month, yeah, I guess so. And he is just so, so nice and adorable. Like a little teddy bear. It's a she-poo. Yes, you're a she-poo. Phoebe, do you want to walk? Do you want to go for a walk? <gasps> He's waiting for food. What kind of food? <laughs> a treat. You, he, Mark gives him treats every day for no reason. He doesn't even do anything to deserve it. I try to I try to reinforce good behaviors with it, but you just give it to him whenever you feel like you want to be nice, mm -hmm. which is like all the time. Yeah, because he's being in a pad. So I like... give it whenever he pees on the pad. Yeah. But like you give it, like you left to go run errands, oh for your things, your appointments, and you just put three of them next to his bowl. Yeah, just so you know. <laughs> Have something great for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. We go about things differently. I would only give them sparingly, but you bought like an industrial size of treat, like a huge box of treats. <laughs> now we're like loaded up for a whole year, probably. <laughs> Baby, let's go. Oh, you're so adorable. Let's go, Baby. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. You know what? The weather looks pretty crap out here. <laughs> I, it rained a lot earlier today. You could see it's like a little puddle there. But what I wanted to show is the paint job. I think it turned out splendidly. So, come on, Habibi. Come on. <laughs> he doesn't want to go. 
but I really, really love the way this turned out. It's so bright and, and viva vivacious. It's just very bright and beautiful. It's basically like a white color. And then the accent is a very light gray. So I, <laughs> and then I have a little touch of flamingo there. Habibi, Habibi, Habibi. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I guess I can carry you. Oh, Habibi. Come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's waiting for me. Okay, let's go. There we go. Now we're moving and shaking. That's a good dog. Here in Florida, it's very common to cover your plants so that they don't get cold at night. <laughs> Sometimes there's frost at night. Oh, is he tired already? Yeah, he wants. Oh. Oh, I mean, yeah, we can use our stroller. Stella won't mind. She passed it on to you in her will. It is such a nice day out. Uh, the weather is probably like 70 degrees, I guess. 70. 71, I, if yeah. I remember. Yeah. It's so much better than being up north, but it's kind of gray out, really. Like, you can see it's just sort of not very sunny but that's just how it is sometimes still way better than the really cold frigid nights however what are you doing i'm just showing you in short so oh. you know just to like you know however some nights the, it does get very cold so that's why people put blankets over their plants to keep them warm Gosh, it's like I'm watching one of those dog competitions when the people <laughs> when the people run alongside of them. Oh my gosh. Wow. You know what? I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but they had to fix the pond. There was like a sinkhole, there was a whole remediation, but they did fix it luckily. So it's looking much better now and they have the pump turned back on. The other thing is the soccer field here, they have to often reseed it. So a lot of times there's just the caution tape around it. I kind of wish they would put maybe sod in or something. I mean, not sod, but the fake, that fake greenery stuff. I'm so excited for our curtains out there. So I put a couple shears. It really gives like an island vibe. And then also you can see the new paint job for the floor out here. It's a little chilly. We're going to head on out just so, oh, it's so, so cold. But we have the plants out here, the nice shears that, of course, can be like completely covering once they're let down. But yeah, the, the new flooring out here is so pretty with the paint. Oh, there's a little poo over there. Habibi did that. Sometimes he's mischievous and he poos places he should not. But I, I, I just love how it's come together out here. The rug looks so cute. That rug used to be in the bedroom, but I, you know, I put new rugs in the house. So that one's out here and it works really well to kind of bring that space together. I like that. And then it's so much more brighter with all the white out here. And then of course, since we started painting, now it's a little bit of a mess in here, but, oh, Mark's taking photos of a BB. <laughs> but since we painted this white, it sort of brings everything, you know, together. So, and the other thing I wanted to show is I did decide to move this over here. Things are in a little bit of a state of upheaval. They need to be cleaned a little bit more inside, but I did put this over here. I kind of like it more closely connected to the kitchen considering it's like a display cabinet, you know? So that's that way. And then we have a central painting here and then the two things there. Also, we're going to go for a desk today. I think we're going to get look for a desk um, to put my computer on, this desktop computer, which might end up over here on this wall. I did get the other hook put up here, so now it's swagging just like it should, and it's centered right over the table. So again, it's a mess in here, but now you can see that it's, it's good. Hi, Habibi. Well, we are at Walmart and we are picking up a desk. This one was only, how much? I think 44. Like $44, so very happy about that. And then I got some boxes for my business. This, this risers, I'm really excited to, to rise up my, my uh, shipping, table. shipping table, yeah. 
So we're gonna try and experiment when we get home because I'm curious if I can tell the difference between the cheap Walmart brand, you know, eggs and like cage free, the ones that we have, which are like pasture raised. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very curious if I can know the difference. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so we're doing the blind taste test. Now Mark knows the answer. I obviously have my suspicions because I know what good quality eggs look like. I've been eating them for a while and I'm a hundred percent certain I won't I just know this is the cheaper egg that is the better egg but I'll taste it and then I'll know but the cheaper ones are the white ones not that color really has anything to do because these are just like bleached but um these are the you know whatever they're called live that handsome life so we'll see I'm gonna do a blind taste test he's gonna keep them separate and uh, then I'll know, but I'm, I'm, oh, I'm in charge of the waffle station. I need to make sure I don't burn them. From just looking at it, this is way more golden. This is like one shade of yellow, basically. So only Mark knows, I did not pay attention to it, um, but I'm gonna start with this one over here. It has like one note to it. It's like kind of bland. Mm. These are better quality. I know it. Now what's the answer? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this video has taken a long time to finalize and, and get done. So I will wrap it up here though. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Habibi! Bye. Bye-bye.